Hello, this is Instructional Development at UCSB. This video is all about active learning and how it can be implemented in any course, no matter the size, discipline, or expertise level of your students. Active learning is a process of getting students to engage with material by building connections within new material as well as between new material and their prior knowledge. Active learning focuses on how students are engaging with the material. Therefore, in active learning classes, instructors do not solely explain the content to their students. Instead, students work towards new ideas themselves while the instructor offers guidance, facilitation, and feedback. One important question when incorporating active learning is, what type of activity can students do to really engage with the material? Many instructors mistake physical activities with active learning. While physical activities like drawing can promote active learning, what makes active learning active as opposed to passive is what students are doing on a cognitive level over a physical one. True active learning can be implemented in many different ways, which makes it great for all classes. Let's look at how active learning can work on the individual, pair, and group level. Individual active learning can look like students answering polling questions about the material pausing to review their notes, or creating concept maps of the material. Activities like these work best when you guide your students' thinking so they can see how they are learning. In small groups, active learning can look like students doing think-pair shares or having partners teach one another. Activities like these work best when you frame mistakes and challenges as learning opportunities. On a larger scale, active learning activities can assign students to be experts on different topics, working through handouts to investigate material, or completing group projects. Activities like these work best when your positive attitude and excitement help create a class that welcomes multiple points of view. These are just a few ideas that encourage students to put the active in active learning. As you try these, remember to focus on encouraging students to make connections, build a deeper understanding, and think like experts in your field. For more information, contact us at Instructional Development. Thanks for watching.